It's a case that's hard to comprehend. These are tragic cases. It's a death that could have been easily prevented by using just common sense care in the handling of a firearm. Last week, a three-year-old boy died from what Denver police say was an accidental and self-inflicted gunshot wound. They haven't said much about what led up to it, other than it happened in a car on Peco Street in Denver. Police say someone took the boy to the hospital where he died five days later. Last night, they arrested the boy's mother for investigation of child abuse negligently causing death. Police are still looking for the boy's father. It's tragic because the parents have lost their child and now are facing the long arm of the judicial system. Also today, the parents of a six-year-old boy turned themselves into Fort Collins police on similar charges. The boy accidentally shot himself after police say his mother left her gun out. In 2020, the American Academy of Pediatrics said there were at least 369 unintended shootings by children in the United States. As for the Denver case, final charges are up to the district attorney, but Nine News legal expert Scott Robinson says a case like this may not reach trial. Statistically speaking, a loaded firearm being used by a child is not a situation where the defense is want to, wanting to go to trial. Typically, these cases plea bargain out, but not always, and every case is different. Experts, medical professionals, they've of course said keeping guns out of the house altogether helps prevent this. We also know that gun locks are handed out for free in a few counties in our area, Boulder and Larimer to name a few. The CDC says 2020 was the first time guns became the leading cause of death for children and teenagers. More kids die from gun violence rather than car crashes, overdoses or cancer. That's devastating. Luis, thank you for your reporting.